All right, it's KDRC right now. I had to cut out a second ago. I don't have anything to hold my camera right now, but I figured I'd show the setting on the uh, brand new Oxima. The uh, follow me feature is working all well. Now with the camera, there was a camera mounted, unless it was a gimbal that turned, you know, like a, like a three axis powered gimbal, there's no way that things don't see me. But she is following me. I'll give her that. She don't like the bouncing if I have the remote down, so. I get it's better than the last one though regarding the radius. I don't know why they didn't fix that. You know, it doesn't make any sense to me. But you figured they'd fix that little tweak. Unless I'm not putting this right setting on it, but it says in the book, you know, put it in GPS mode. And then she's I mean I even did her rotations, a couple rotations. Just to make sure she uh knew her boundaries. But I hit her and she actually almost did a 180 and then I don't know what the hell but anyway this is she flies true and true as can be man she's, she's a beautiful bird she looks great doing it too so uh I'm gonna take a I should go take, try to do an auto landing maybe no there's no beeping though see right I had to switch remotes because the last remote that stupid spring sprocket thingy in the back screwed up again and popped this is a problem in this one, so I put a spot of glue on it to hold it down. All right, she she she, she doesn't know what she wants to do. She's like, "What you gonna do? You gonna follow? Or want me to follow you or what?" She, she's staying right now. Now I'm in her camera path. She's just not fur, further away. So she's doing all right. Now, if you see a rock and roll a little bit, it's because I'm setting down the remote. I'm trying to do two things at once. Be careful, because I'm in a neighborhood, my neighborhood, and also film, which I can't even see the damn camera screen. I, you, I hope you see her. I mean, I, was, I don't know why you wouldn't. I'm kind of aiming towards that direction. Oh, yeah, she's following the remote. Now, that's wind. All right, I'm going to see if I can't turn this off right quick. The... Uh, the uh, what you call it setting that should be off. Yeah. All right. She's done with the uh, follow crap. Now I, w my, I would attempt circle, but obviously not in here. I don't want to. I don't want to lose this baby. I just got it. Just a moment, please. Sorry for the camera again. Twist it up over here. Ugh. trying to see what she's going to do when it comes down to uh, her. I mean, she lands great and she takes off great. As long as you calibrate her correctly and you give her about 30 seconds just to a minute. And again, I apologize for the 50th time in a row for uh, crappy ass uh, camera work here. It originally started on her, but uh, she seemed to be struggling a little bit. I mean, I honestly don't think the, mo the motors are as powerful as they once were. But that's just one man's opinion, of course. Because the old Asima would be able to rock it out, no problem. I mean, she can handle some weight. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong, I don't know. Probably am, but she was flying, having a hard time. And I know it was a little windy, but I've seen this thing fly through almost hurricane winds. And that extra sensor on the bottom does do, it's noticeably different when it comes to landing and taking off. And I, I mean, Jay said it best when he said, you know, this kind of a bird. Now, a good portion of the time, she's not going to be true out of the box. you got to work with it. And uh, this one was true out of the box, but my white one, the first one, not so much. So, I'm going to bring her forward a little bit. Or, yeah. And again, Alcima, if you guys see this, please fix your dang remote, or transmitter rather. I had it for not even a whole day. And then that sprocket or whatever the hell you, that push and pulley system you guys got in your transmitters broke. I mean, for real. You guys can do better than that. I mean, what is that, a five cent fix? Spot a hot glue or something? Alright, I'm going to go down to headless mode. She didn't seem like she liked that too much, did she? 
I've already been flying probably a good 15 minutes or better. It's not that damn close. I'm in headless mode, by the way, or IOC. Uh, here she come back. I guess I might as well let it go and see if she, uh, until she auto lands. But I'm gonna get her somewhere different, that's for sure, when it comes to that. Oh, yeah, I wanted to try the return home feature. Um, let me kick her out a little bit. Because I landed right over um, next to me here. Uh, let me go up a little bit here. Bear with me, guys. I'm, I know I'm saying it for a thousand times over and over, but this camera work is not the best, I know. I just figured I'd get something better than nothing. All right, I'm gonna get it out of headless mode. Oops. Headless mode, going back to altitude mode. I'm in GPS still. Now I'm back to altitude mode and GPS mode. Now let's bring her to return home. So here we go. Here goes nothing. Uh, oh, she's landing way over there. No, she's not. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. Why is she landing over there? She just went down a little bit. Probably just some fluctuation. So what's she gonna do? She should be laying right about around here. Uh, uh, slow down, baby. <laughs> uh, there's the bells and whistles now. I hope I can even see it right now. Oh, she's gonna land right where the remote's at, okay. Yeah, I'm right here, baby. Come on down. Let's see the sensor in action. She should stop, slow down right before the uh, land. See that smooth landing right there? Now, cross your fingers. Now, you can't answer better than that. Seriously, though. Anybody that says you had a problem with them, watch it better. All I did was, well, sometimes the directions don't always tell the truth. Or they think they do, but they don't. Plus, I had to be buying to a new remote. It looks so gaudy with the white. I was going to put some white props on it, though, truthfully. Just to add a little bit of flair. But I, I figured, no, I wanted to get out flying. I was too busy yesterday. He uh, fell over a couple times. I noticed that it came like this. It's not a big deal. It's a big prop. But, uh, it's like a nick. It wasn't a nick yesterday. It was a uh, kind of a bend, but it was like almost like it was purposely done because it was like part of the molding. And so, I don't know. I, I figured maybe it's supposed to be there. I mean, I, I know better, but. So, anyway, um. I also got my bugs out again. I haven't had this one, my baby, baby, Betty Blue out here in a while. It's been a minute since I've had her out. Been up with bigger and better things, I, I was thinking, but really, you can't go wrong with, you know, the, the uh, what do you call that, the, the Drocon, fucking, uh, excuse my language, the Drocon Bugs 3. And so, uh, I, I don't know if you guys are looking for a steady, good bird. I would suggest go with that one, the Bugs 3, especially a Drocon. You ask me why, what, what's a Drocon? That's not even the right remote. <laughs> there it is, that's, that's the difference. It's uh, made by a company, I mean, many drones are made by different companies after they come out, repurposed, kind of, so to speak. And uh, Drocon hits the mark every time, it seems as if. I mean, I've only had one, but going by the reviews and seeing people fly other products that they've done, I mean, it's the same price from what I gather. I mean, I didn't pay just over 100 for that, and that was months ago. You can get a uh, Bugs 3 for under 100 bucks easily. And, um, yeah, that's a 6, but uh, oh, I didn't bring my transmitter out regarding the black uh, Osama. But if, uh, yeah, being out from the, oh, I'm missing, this side snapped, so guys, Asuma, if you would maybe send me a new 
mechanism or sprocket or what doohickey, whatever you want to call it, to fix that. I mean, this one's it was it was this side on this, but uh, I had to open her up and put some a little bit of uh, hot glue just to keep it from what it is is that push and pulley system, which I'm sure your engineers will know right off when I say it. What it is is the push and pulley. Okay, it's got two fangs on it, so to speak for lack of a better word and that spring when it, it, it that mechanism pushes down it's supposed to be pushed down all the way well sometimes I guess from tilting like holding the remote upside down or what have you it falls up I mean I'm not talking about a millimeter if that just that little bit makes that difference because then you get I mean my stick stays like that I mean all that you know bounce back you know that spring loaded trigger becomes obsolete and it's very dangerous when you fly because trust me I would have been writing some emails upon emails to y'all if I wouldn't have uh, been able to keep her true and in the air I would have been pissed so anyway I don't want to keep hounding about that again um, despite the horrible or rather deplorable camera footage guys um, I hope that you got to see at least somewhat decent camera work, or not camera work, but uh, flying with this baby. Now, again, the only difference that I notice, I don't know, there might be difference in, in the uh, my uh, software, but <clears throat> right there is what you're looking at. That's the only difference that I notice. That and the camera, of course, but I mean, that's, they could have put a uh, $20 throwaway camera on it, it would have been better. In the last one, or at least the gimbal portion, that gimbal was junk. It had a good setup. If it would have just stopped going, I mean, you all know that, don't you? You know what that looks like, don't you? It's a bad joke. Hey, what am I? I'm an awesome gimbal. Yeah. Oh wait, let me redo it with the button. We'll get it through again. Here, let's fly. Let's do that. Is that Horizon? I don't think so. Alright, I'm not, I'm not funny, I know. But, sincerely guys, uh, this is our KDRC. I'm not a pro. Maybe I don't know. But, uh, this is a good set of uh, quads if you're looking at beginner. Tell you what, beware though, on the Bugs 3. Actually, all of them, really. Uh, well, Bugs 6 is good for a beginner. Bugs 3 is pretty durable. But that baby's quick, 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 quick. You gotta be prepared. You gotta have your a little bit of know-how regarding the mechanical aspect and the, you know, when it comes to flying, you know, what you can and can't get away with. And eventually, it's second nature. In the Asama, uh, I mean, I'll just say, do some homework, watch some uh, reviews. J Drone, he's a uh, he's the guy to go to about Asamas. He's got a good good deal on him if you need one he's got a butt load apparently he's got a whole room or a whole, whole almost house full it sounds like <laughs> but he'll hook you up to take care of you he'll do you right so before you go to uh anywhere else try looking up J drones and uh on youtube and hit him up if you're uh, interested not the new ones he doesn't have those i'm sure he, he might maybe later on that maybe not but he does have this version, the original EGO3 Alcima. It comes just like that. I mean, it comes also with a what you call it, a uh, little plastic. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm using one right now to hold. But I had another one somewhere. Anyway, it comes with a little plastic gimbal that you mount on the bottom here. It's just, I mean, you don't need a mechanical gimbal, especially not with this bird. They don't even have one that that is really tested and true, tried and true with yet with this one. Not that I've seen. I mean, why would they go to a regular steady cam rather than a regular axis gimbal if it was that you know if they had one? Plus, it's a hold back, and they're gonna re you know release it again. But guys, that's my time. The battery's dying. I hope this wasn't too horrible of a review, slash rather flight. I don't really call it a review. It's just me flying quad. 
I, uh, I don't know. I'm probably going to think of a thousand things I wanted to say about it, but any questions, man? If you have any questions regarding the Alcima CG03, change your own He is, as far as I know, the expert. He's the guy who has them all. <laughs> he can make any one of them fly. Okay? Peace. Change your own. Take care, man. And uh, this is uh, KDRC out.